Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm your host Dr. Sene and I'm here to share my ideas with you on a major social issue that's prevalent in some countries. Guys, it's widely believed that in some countries, some cultures, marriage between first cousins is very common than in some other parts of the world. According to my research, I learned that in Pakistan, cousin marriage is legal and common for economic, religious and cultural reasons. Same bloodline marriage in Pakistan was reported to be higher than 60% of the population in 2014. Having a baby with a first cousin more than doubles the risk of congenital problems such as heart and lung defects, cleft palates and extra fingers according to the largest study of its kind in the UK. The study looked at 11,300 babies born to a range of ethnic groups in Bradford, West Yorkshire, which has higher levels of blood marriage in the city's large Pakistani community. This was one of the biggest UK studies of its kind, which charts a group of more than 13,000 children born in the city between 2007 and 2011. Although the absolute risk is still considered small, meaning that in general the majority of babies are unaffected, first cousin marriages are proven greatly to increase birth defects and the chance of a baby dying early. The national rate for congenital defects is around 166 in every 10,000 babies. But in Bradford, it nearly doubles to about 306 per 10,000 births. So guys, let's think about this. I have a story of British-born Pakistani woman Ruba Bibi, which makes us open our eyes wide to the consequences that can arise due to marrying close relatives. Born and brought up in Bradford, Ruba had visited Pakistan only twice before the wedding. Once when she was four years old and once when she was 12. She couldn't really remember the man she was now engaged to and had never spent time alone with him. He was her first cousin, 27-year-old Sakib. She was only 17. I was really nervous because I didn't really know him, she had said. Ruba Bibi had not wanted to marry so young. She had planned to do her A-levels and go to university. But, but before she had finished her GCSEs, her parents arranged for her to marry Sakib Mahmood, her cousin in Pakistan. After three months in Pakistan, she found out she was pregnant. When their son Hassan was born in the UK in 2007, the baby seemed to sleep a lot and had trouble feeding. I thought that was normal, Ruba had said. However, her doctor noticed that there was something not quite right with the baby and later tests revealed that little Hassan had this very rare condition that prevents a child from growing and developing in a normal way. Ruba had no idea that both she and her cousin carried the recessive gene for eye cell, a rare inherited condition that prevents a child growing and developing properly. Hassan was growing very slowly and was in and out of hospital with chest infections and as he got older his head increased in size. Hassan died soon after. Ruba and Sakib did not know that they both carried a gene for an incurable condition as I mentioned before which means their children have one in four chance of dying in early childhood. When their next child, Anishba, was born in 2010, tests confirmed immediately that she too had eye cell disease. She died at the age of three in 2013, just over a year after her older brother Hassam had passed away. Ruba got pregnant with her third child, Inara, in 2015, who was also born with eye cell disorder. Ruba has lost three children. She also suffered six miscarriages. 
after her third child, Inara's death. I didn't even know I was pregnant at that time and I miscarried after the funeral, she says. She says it was Inara's death that made her accept the link between the children's misfortunes and cousin marriage. There are many cases of historic figures who fell into this unfortunate situation of being a victim of tradition. Guys, before I go, I'm going to turn to history and talk about Emperor Ferdinand I of Austria. His parents were first cousins twice over and when he was born, he wasn't especially healthy. Ferdinand was the eldest child of Francis II, Holy Roman Emperor and Maria Theresa of Naples and Sicily, possibly as a result of his parents' genetic closeness. They were double first cousins, as I said. Ferdinand had hydrocephalus, neurological problems, including epilepsy and speech impediment. He had been depicted as feeble-minded and incapable of ruling. Epilepsy, it is said, kind of ruled his day-to-day -day life and suffering as many as 20 seizures per day, severely restricted his ability to rule with any effectiveness. When Ferdinand married Princess Maria Anna of Savoy, the court physician considered it unlikely that he would be able to consummate the marriage. When Ferdinand tried to consummate the marriage, he is said to have had five seizures. Guys, there are many more examples of kids being born with enormous problems when cousins marry. So, I believe as far as marrying your cousin is concerned, you shouldn't make it a family tradition. What do you think, guys? Hope you leave your comments for us all. Thank you and good night.